Hi, it's John and welcome to Cycling on a Shoestring. Great to have you here. Thanks for watching. We'll get to today's project. We'll get to saving you some money and maybe saving your bike frame in just a moment. But as I've been doing on my latest video since I uncovered my record collection back here, putting one of my favorite records up there and this time it's Super Tramp's Crime of the Century, one of my favorites. Now today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be making a down tube protector for your bike. Now I realize the video title might be a little bit misleading how a toaster oven can save your bike frame, but that's not completely wrong, and I'll explain that in just a moment. Now, as far as down tube protectors go on your bike, perfect for your mountain bike. If you want to save it from getting hit by rocks underneath as they fly up from the trail, you might have one on your bike. It may have come that way, or you might have bought one aftermarket, which can be kind of expensive, and it was for my YT Jeffsy. So what I thought I'd do was come up with a way of making one myself, and I did a little research and came up with a product called Kydex. This is Kydex, and this is actually one of my failures making my down tube protector. So hopefully I can help you out so you don't fail and waste your Kydex. But basically Kydex is this plastic type material which is very, very hard, and it's very pliable when you cook it. You cook it at about 350 degrees in a toaster oven or in the oven in your house. Now a toaster oven is better because you can take it down into your shop where your bike is. Um, I actually did that with my uh, down tube protector, but you might have to take your bike into your kitchen if you're using your oven. But it's very pliable and can wrap around a lot of different things. Now, my suggestion to you is this. Use the KISS principle if you're doing this project. KISS, K-I-S-S, -S, keep it simple, stupid. Don't try to go around too many tubes and too many turns at the same time or you're going to fail. And I'll show you how I did it in just a moment. Now, what do you need for this project? Well, I would suggest that you get some Velcro straps. Okay, these ones, I don't know, maybe about uh, almost 12 inches long, quite wide, good solid ones with a loop on the end, pretty cheap if you buy them at Amazon or a local craft shop, but get yourself some of these kind of straps. Also, get yourself some gloves. Work gloves are gonna come in handy because you're going to be cooking the Kydex, it gets hot. Leather gloves are gonna come in handy, but at least some type of glove you can use for this project. Also, a straight edge and a knife. Now, if you have a saw, a skill saw, to cut the kydex, that's perfect. I used this because I didn't have a skill saw. Basically, I measured my kydex to the right lengths, and then I used this to score those lines over and over again until I could snap the kydex into the size I wanted. Be very careful with the sharp knife, and if you're using a saw, be careful with that as well. And something else you might uh, want to have is a Dremel tool, and I use this to cut the slots to put the Velcro straps through. If you don't have one of these, find somebody that can lend you one. A lot of places Places like Home Depot and Lowe's, they'll actually rent you one of these and it doesn't cost very much money and if you're only using it once then that's going to save you having to buy one at the store. So that's basically what you're going to need for this project to make your own down tube protector. So let's take a closer look at what I did for my bike, tell you how I made it, we'll show you kind of a close up of it and then we'll show you it from the bottom as well and you can make your own down tube protector right here on Cycling on a Shoestring. Here's a close up look at the down tube protector and you can see the four Velcro straps that I've got on there and I've cut the slots in the uh, Kydex itself, which I'll show you from the bottom in just a moment because you can get a better look at it from the bottom than the top, but it's on there nice and tight. It's not going anywhere. Now, something I didn't mention off the top, but another product you might want to pick up for this is this. And this is made by Scotch and actually this has got a lot of different applications if you're uh, using your bike and if you have bikes, but this is 2220 moisture sealing electrical tape. Now this is really thick stuff. Let me show this to you. You can see it here and you can see how thick this tape is. And what I've done is I've cut strips off and I've got it under here between the kydex and my frame and it really holds it in place so it doesn't move at all. I'm going to take this off in just a moment so you can take a look at it. But if you buy some of this, this is great if you want to put it on say your chain stays. You can wrap it around there so you don't beat the crap out of your chain stays with your chain when you're riding down the trail. So this has got a lot of different applications. If you're uh, biking, uh, you might want to pick some of this up. Buy the 2228 stuff. 
and it's great. So let me take this off and then I'll put it back on again and then you can see what it looks like from the bottom some of the cuts I've done. But basically what you want to do is you want to kind of just, just determine how much of the tube you want to cover, how long, and then you can cut those pieces and then cook them and put them on the bike. So I'm going to take off uh, one of these straps. We'll try this one right here and it's on there really good. So here we go. You just pull it off. And what the great thing about this is, is that if you put it on this way, it's easy to remove these pieces. And then, it's a little dusty on there right now, but you can take it off and then you can clean your bike a lot easier because it's easy to remove. I've seen some people who have you know, cut holes in this and then rerouted cables through the Kydex and I think it'd be really hard to clean if you did that way. Now you can see how I've had to cut a piece out of here. You'll see from the bottom in just a moment. And right there, if you, I don't know if you can see that, but that's some of that extra thick electri electrical tape that I put on there and I put a couple of pieces here which helps hold it in place and then you don't get any rubbing on your frame between the Kydex itself and your frame. So works great. So I'm gonna put this back on. We'll flip the bike over and you can take a look at it from the bottom and I can give you some other uh, tips on how to do this. But it's an easy project and it was a lot of fun and I'm really happy with the way it came out. So here's my bike upside down and this is what it looks like. You can see how the straps are on there and I cut those slots with my Dremel tool. And again, it's two pieces. And if you look right here, you can see I've had to cut around the Kydex and get around this cable which runs under my bottom bracket cartridge so you might have to do that so again cut the Kydex into the shapes you want and then what you want to do is cook it about 350 degrees and then you mold it around here and if you do it this way you don't end up with any crimps it all fits on there nicely and I think it fits great now if you look if you see right here see that spot right there that's where a rock hit that would have dented my frame pretty bad. There's another one over here that looks like a sharp rock came up and uh, hit it pretty hard, but I'm often hearing rocks come up below here and pound against the bottom bracket of this bike and on this down tube, and I'm so glad I have this on here. But I think it looks pretty good. People ask me about it. Uh, and a great thing, again, is that you can remove this easily with these straps, clean your bike, put them back on, and you're ready to go again. And I put it on and off this bike dozens of times now, and that Kydex is so tough. It's in the same shape it was when I first put it on, other than those dents caused by rocks hitting my bike. I couldn't finish up this video without actually showing you how the Kydex uh, reacts when you put it in a toaster oven or if you put it in your oven at home. Now this toaster oven is set at 350 degrees. You might be hearing the uh, timer in the background because it needs to be on the timer in order for this to work. And it's on bake right now. And they suggest you don't have your oven any more than maybe about 375. If you get above 400 degrees, the uh, Kydex itself, itself will start to blister. Now here's a piece of Kydex I've got left over from my product before and this is three millimeter kydex and you're not going to need anything more than three millimeters for this it's perfect and as I put on the screen earlier 23 24 bucks for 22 inches by 22 inches so it's a low cost project for you now when you put it in there it's going to get soft you might think it will get gooey because that's what you think about when you put things in oven make maybe like caramel it will just get soft and then what you do once you get it soft is you need to lay it on the frame of your bike where you want your down tube protector, form it there, and it doesn't take long before it starts to harden. So let's drop it in there. Hopefully you can see this okay. I've got enough lights on it, hopefully. Everything's black here, so we'll put it in there, and I'll show you how this works. Make sure you got some gloves on when you do this. And trust me, it does not take long before it starts to get soft. Okay, it's only been about 30 seconds, but I'm gonna pull it out here and I'll show you what has happened to the Kydex. And here you go. It's all rubbery, see? It's a piece of rubber. It feels like a large, thick piece of rubber. Now I'll just hold it and I'll, I'll form this almost like a little tube here, as close to it as I can get. I'll just hold it like that for a second. 
and we'll show you how it will harden up real quick and how fast you've got to act if you're putting this on your bike. Now if you get it wrong the first time, just throw the Kydex back in there and it will uh, soften up again and you can just try again until you get it in the exact shape you want. Now, you're going to need these gloves, very hot, but with these leather gloves on it can just feel some warmth through, but it's starting to harden already, you can see. It's starting to stay in that shape and it won't be very long before it's hard as a rock and that's what you need on your uh, down tube to protect your bicycle. Fantastic stuff. And again, I want to let you know that if you're concerned about laying this on the frame of your bike, because that's what you're going to do, get it soft, lay it on the frame where you want to put it on your bike, and let it harden there. Just hold, hold it until it hardens, and then um, you'll be all done. But it doesn't harm your bike frame. It never did a thing to my bike. It was fine. And right now, it's almost hard, completely hard, and within about 30 seconds or so, this will be hard as a rock. That's Kydex, great stuff. Well, there you go. You can make your own down tube protector. And if this was a helpful video for you and you actually try this project, please leave some comments below. Tell me how it worked out for you. And I think you might have some fun giving it a try and working with this Kydex. It certainly was interesting for me and I was really, really satisfied with how it turned out. I'd like to thank you for watching. If this was a helpful video, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel as well. I'm now over 400 subscribers. Fantastic. And ring the bell as well for notifications, and I'll see you next time on Cycling on a Shoestring.